for today's tip is an InDesign one looking at rulers, spreads, and pages. Um, what you often find is when you're putting things like guides on pages, for example, and you drag them out from the side here, um, you'll be able to see the position of the guide up at the top here. So in this case, 34.33. If I wanted to, I could select that and I could say, right, let's put it at 35, for example. Nice even number. And I may want to guide over here at the same position. Um, and to do that, I'll drag it out. But the problem I'm getting is when I look up at the top there, I'm seeing 352, which is obviously a huge number for something that looks to be about the same distance out. And the problem I have is this ruler is running right across the spread. So it's starting at zero on the left hand page and it's simply continuing all the way across. So, I, you know, I know my page is 210. So I could go in there, select that ruler. And I think the first one from memory, what was it, 35? So I could select this ruler and go in here and you can do sums in here. So I can say 210 plus 35, hit the tab key and it works it out for me and it's put it in at the right place. But it's a little bit of a faff. There's, there's really no need to do that because there's a much easier way. If I just get rid of this ruler for a second, this, this second one, what you can do with these rulers is you can right click on the ruler and when you right click on it, you can turn it from being a ruler per spread to being a ruler per page. So the beauty of that is the ruler now starts at zero on whichever page you're on. And you can see there's a zero there and a zero over here. So when I drag this guide out now, it resets to zero back over here. And I can drag this out and I can work on the basis that it's at 35. And I can go in there, change it to 35 mil, and it positions it to the exact right position, which is the same as this one. So it just makes it a little bit easier having to have that ruler work right across the spread rather than simply having to kind of calculate things out or rather having that ruler work per page rather than across the spread, I should say, and uh, avoid having to work those things out.